So now let's let me first recap one very important concept and differences nuances between 4G and 5G before jumping into the details about the NRFCN or central frequency or SSP impact in general. So as you can remember, if you remember in the 4G, you have assumed this is your your bandwidth. You have this is a complete bandwidth. In the 4G, that this is a center frequency of the of the channel bandwidth. And in 4G, actually the center frequency of channel bandwidth and the broadcast channel or the SSP was using this exact same center frequency and the SSP and PSSS, SSS and so on, sequential signal broadcast channels was being fixed in the 4G. You cannot, it's not flexible, it's just in one particular location. So in this case, you are only configuring one center frequency per. The 5G concept now is completely different. For example, first of all, you have the center frequency one, which is related to the channel bandwidth. For example, this is the center frequency of the complete bandwidth. And you have another center frequency of the of the SSP or the broadcast channels or the synchronous signals. And this is actually the main idea that in 4G, first of all, the SSP is being flexible. And why it's being flexible for many different reasons. And the, but the most important reason is about the bandwidth part. In case you, you would like to have a different bandwidth part in your network, so you will need to have a different center frequencies of the synchronous signals. So for example, here in this case, you have in this particular cell, you need to define two different center frequencies. For one for the channel bandwidth and one for the SSP block or the broadcast and SSP BSSS synchronous signal. All the mobility, mobility is mainly happening through the SSP. So this is also having a m more other consideration we need to check. So this is just a summary. And the second important part about the 5G that the, the location of the SSP or the synchronization signals are broadcast is flexible. You can define it anywhere. For example, at the end of the band, for example, you can even move it to the center of the band or you can even con configure it at the start of the band. But just as a summary, you would like to configure two different center frequencies. So now let's move to the details about that part to cover it in more details about in general how to calculate and what kind of differences we have in 5g so actually here for that part i would just like to to explain for you how we can calculate the center frequency in general in in the 5g and as i mentioned we have two different center frequencies one for the ssp as showing in this figure here this is the frequency and one center frequency for the complete channel bandwidth here and there is two different methods to configure the center frequency of the SSP. It can be even through something called GSCN, which is standard for Global Synchronization Channel Number. And this is actually, uh, it's being introduced, as we call it synchronization raster in general. This is being introduced in, in the 5G, because as you know, the 5G will having a huge bandwidth. So, and every time the user is trying to access, he need to blindly scan uh, until he found the location of the SSP. So for example, in, in 4G, it was using Fix it, which is 100 kilohertz. The user is searching every 1 kilohertz until he found the, the the location of the sequential signal broadcast. But in, in same same constant 5G, but as you know, the 5G bandwidth is very big, so the user might take a very long time until he uh, find the SSP location. That's why we have this kind of GCN. As you can see, the the main differences between the NRFC or the channel raster and sequential raster that this is how the user is being scanned. Actually, signature raster having a, a lower, has a relatively low resolution. For example, instead of moving each 100 kilohertz, the users can move or scan, make the scan each 1.2 megahertz. And this is, means the SSP locations at fixed location. For example, each band or each band ranges will, will, will having a different, a different, as you can see, a scanning or a scanning, a scanning, a scanning span or a frequency span. For example, here it's moving every 1.2 megahertz or even 1.44 megahertz or even 17.2.7 megahertz. So actually, this is the main idea about the uh, why the why the 5G introduced the SSP in general. And non standalone, you can either configure the SSP center frequency using GSCN or using this NRFCN which is both of them having a different frequency, but they are equivalent to each other. But the recommendation in general to start directly with GSCM because GSCM can work with both non-standalone and standalone. So in case if you're removing now, you're having a non-standalone and you started first for configuring this one using the old, the old way around, which is the NRFCN. In this case, once you are moving to standalone network, you need to again to change the, the configuration from NRFCN to GSCN. So just to save time, just from the beginning, make it based on gcn so now let's now let's explain how we can how we can make the calculation 
about the SSP and I have a detailed video about the SSP. You can look into this video in case you would like to find more details about it. So actually, as you can see here, this is we have two different methods to calculate the, the center frequency in general, especially for the SSP. The first one on the left here, which is NRFC and RFC calculation. And this is a straightforward and very, very easy one. For example, this is a formula, NRFCN. You have uh, the first one, the, the offset, and then the frequency range, and the frequency offset, and delta F global. This is a, the, the, the formula. So if, for example, assume now you have your frequency range is falling between this. You have three ranges, falling between 0 to 3,000. 3, 3, assume now your, your center frequency, robust center frequency, which is this one, F, F reference, or F ref. This one is five two five three zero. So this means the, your global will be five. This means your offset here with this one frequency offset, and this one will be both of them with zero. So you, if you just apply the formula here, this will give you the NRFCN, which is being calculated. This will be your, your NRFCN, which is being used to configure for the SSP. This is in case if you you would like, for example, to use an NRFCN method. For this one, it's kind of complicated. But still, we'll go through the Excel file, Excel tool, which you have it for the planning point of view. Also, there is different tools and links in the internet. I also drop some of them in the video description. We can look into it in case you would like to calculate directly. So also the same concept for the GSCN calculation. It's having a three different formulas because each, each range, frequency range, will have a different formula. As you can see here, there is something called N factor and M factor. And actually, N and M factor being N and M factor was being introduced to, especially for the frequency, the first frequency range, just to ensure there is the alignment between the, the subcarry alignment between the main channel, the channel bandwidth in general, and the central frequency on channel bandwidth, and the SSP block. So it should be usually multiple of 100 kilohertz. The 100 kilohertz should be multiple by that part just to make the alignment. So, for example, if, if your uh, frequency range is falling between 0 to 3000, you need to use this for formula. As you can see here, the highlighted one, which is N multiplied by 1 to megahertz plus M multiplied by 50 kilohertz. And this is a GSCN formula. GSCN formula, this is in case you would like to calculate the frequency as a frequency, megahertz. And if you'd like to calculate the GS, GSCN, it's equal 3 multiplied by N plus M minus 3 divided by 2. So this is a formula. So N, I will show you now the exact calculation about that part. M, first of all, it's having three ranges, one, three, five. And again, this is just to make the alignment. Usually the one we are mostly using is three, which is achieving our requirement to be aligned with the low band or the 4G, which is was using 100 kilohertz. So usually three. So let me take you through an example in the Excel file, just to try to explain more how you can do the calculation manually. But again, not really very important because we have many tools about that part. Just understand that for the GCN, it's increasing the, it's having low resolution because it's increasing the, the frequency search or frequency span. The user, for example, for this particular band, it's moving each, searching for SSP H 1.2 megahertz, while for this one, searching every 1.44 megahertz. So let me take you through an Excel file to show how we can calculate the GSCN and also for an RFCN. So in this Excel, as you can see here for the um, SSP calculator, here it is for sub giga, five gigahertz. For example, here there is showing inputs. This is you need to give that you, uh, for example, the NRFCN if you would like to calculate it to frequency or the opposite way around. If you have already the center frequency defined and you need like to get your NRFCN, if in case you are going to use NRFCN. So in case you would like to get it to configure it in your system. So in this case, for example, here, this formula is exactly applying the formula which is being discussed, which is this one, NRCN equal N reference plus this one minus this one divided by the delta F global, which is being shown here. So I'm just giving F formula. For example, if the frequency range less than 3000, so we need to, uh, to consider this as, for example, as 5, this, this one as delta F global as 5. Otherwise, it will be, and the other will be 0. And if it's, for example, this one, so we need to consider as 15 and so on. For example, here, if it's, if it's uh, between 3000 to 24250, so in this case, you would like to consider this one as delta F global as uh, 15. So in, the, in this example, for example, assume now you have the, your center frequency, uh, you have a frequency range starting from 3000 uh, megahertz, 3.8 3 megahertz. So this center frequency would be, for example, 
for this channel bandwidth, you just miss this one plus this one divided by two. So it will be uh, to convert it to kilohertz, it will be this particular range. And a case also from 3,400 to 3,500. So this will be center frequency as example. Talk about the channel bandwidth. So you can this can be any other value depending on your configuration. So if you change this one to 3,000, then this one it will give you the RFCN and RFCN which you need to configure in your network. The same concept for the SSP frequency range. For the SSP frequency range, also here in case you would like to calculate even the GSN or, or here, if you would like to calculate, for example, the GSN, this is will be using the formula, applying the same formula which here in the Excel file. For this part, you just need to give the to give the inputs manually here, so it give you the formula as well. So let me take you through a detailed part for the SSP uh, definition of frequencies, one by one. For example, to just to explain more what it means by n factor and m factor. Assume now here our formula, right? For here, I'm using for the N78 band, which is starting, for example, from 3000. Okay, this is the frequency. So this is the start of the, the band, which is 3000. Assume your band is starting from 3000 till, for example, end of this one till the maximum. Because as you know that the, the in general, the, three, the, the frequency range, this one starting from 3000 till 24250. So the first N would be starting from the N variable. We'll start from zero, right? From 3000 till the end. Till you reach into the 24250 as you go down here 24250 this one and here as you know that the frequency location or speed location will be moving each if each will be moving each 1.4 mega megahertz for example here you can see this is adding up 1.4 megahertz this is the ssp frequency location then again it will add another to 1.4 megahertz and again 1.44 megahertz so it's in the fixed location but the user scan each 1.44 so this is how it can you can understand the frequency range as well. For the GSN in general, this is a very easy formula. It's just as you can see, GSN equals so 7499 plus N. So we just this one, you make this one uh, 7499, this fixed value plus the N value. N value is here is zero. For example, your GSN will be this part. And the same for uh, this area, which is, for example, you are making 7499, which is here, plus this 19. So this is how you can collect it. So this is straightforward. So for the more, more complications about the, for example, assuming that you have 2.6 band here, for example, and as here, you know that this is again starting from zero, right? The frequency range starting from zero till 3000. So the first one, for example, here it's starting from one and the end will be till 3000 almost, but this time this moving each 1.22 megahertz, right? As you can see, this is 1,200 kilohertz divided by 1,000. So it should move if each 1.22 megahertz. So here, actually, as you can see now, if you would like to calculate the frequency, you need to make what? You need to multiply the N, multiply by 1, 1,200. Then you will make it uh, M multiplied by 50. M multiplied by 50. So this is the M. Here, M, I assume three values for M, M1, M2, M3, and M5. So you're calculating for three, two different the M, and also the same here. Then the last one would be about the GSN, how to calculate the GSN. GSN, simple way around just the three divided multiply by n so this one multiply three multiply by n which is two for example here then plus m m here it can be one two or three one three or five then m minus three divided by two this is how you can create your gsn and then again usually we use your our m3 so i assume that your center frequency is here so this will be your, for example, this one will be your uh, GSN value, which you need to configure in the system. So this is how you can do the calculation.